This is how your house be looking when you have kids. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about these red light cameras and red light tickets. Yeah, I got a few red light tickets. And I ain't paid them. Everybody I talked to said, you don't gotta pay those, they're illegal, you don't have to pay them, don't worry about it. So I didn't pay them, let them go. Everybody said they can't do nothing to you. They can't send it to, uh, I guess, collections or credit, reporting on credit, or they can't do nothing to you. So I ain't worried about it. Well, guess what? They can do something. They could block your registration. That's what they could do. That's right. Got a letter in the mail saying if I don't pay up, my registration will be blocked and I won't be able to renew the registration on my car. I mean, kind of need that, right? To get around, move around, unless I just Uber everywhere. But yeah, so wanted to hear what you guys think about these red light cameras and red light tickets. I mean, how can they even prove that I was driving the car? Do you need a lawyer? Should I get a lawyer? Can you fight them? I saw an article saying one of our legislators was submitting a bill to get rid of these red light cameras and make them illegal. But I don't know what's happened with that. I think some guy was suing or something about them. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to uh, pay up that moolah so that way I could renew my registration on my car because I can't be riding dirty. You know how them laws be trying to get you. They ain't gonna catch me riding dirty, that's for sure. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And it seems like here in Dallas, these red light cameras are popping up all over the place. They're everywhere. I think it's more prone to cause accidents if you ask me because people don't want to get a ticket so they'll slam on their brakes and guess what the guy behind you is going to run right into the back of your car so i think it's more prone to cause more accidents than anything right or is that just me what do you think let me know comment below hey if you like these videos make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you get notified every time i upload a video like comment below let me know what you think all that good stuff as you can see, I got the little man with me, ready to go to church, get up in here, get our praise and worship on. Let's go. All right, so getting ready to head to church right now to get my praise and worship on. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the many blessings. Let's huh? We're going to church. As you can see, I got the little dude back here in the car seat behind me going to church with me on Ash Wednesday, because that's what us Catholics do. We go to church on Ash Wednesday, so we get the uh, little ashes on our forehead. All right, so we are here about to go into church, get our praise and celebration on. Got a little man right here. Say hello. Say cheese. Got a little backpack on. Got to have him prepared, you know, in case accidents happen. So here we go. All right, so I just got out of mass, and as you can see, I got the ashes up here on my forehead. You know, I got to go to church to receive the blessings and to be thankful for what you have and to uh, live the good life, live the holy life. So Lent has officially, be or Lent, I say Lent, it's Lent, has officially begun. I've decided to give up alcohol for the next 40 days of Lent, which is a good thing. You know, not that I'm an alcoholic or anything, but, you know, I'm giving up alcohol as a sacrifice and also as a cleanse for my body. You gotta cleanse the body, the mind, and the spirit to get focused, healthy, get energized, to stay vitalized. I got a lot of goals this year for 2019. And if I got all these toxins and bad stuff in my blood and my system, it's not good for me. It brings my energy levels down, brings my focus down, and that's not good. I gotta stay focused and I gotta stay energized. So I'm giving up alcohol for Lent. Yeah, how do my ashes look? Does it look like a cross or like a smudge? There was this one lady in church I seen and she had like a perfect cross right there on her forehead. Sometimes when I get ashes, it just looks like a smudge. I'm like, I don't want a smudge. I want a, I want a cross on my forehead, not a smudge, please. But you know, I can't be like that with the priest, so. All right, catch you guys later. All right, we got some quinoa, quinoa. I say quinoa, quinoa that I just picked up. And over here we got some tofu, got some uh, asparagus, some onions, some green chili peppers, and then we're going to throw in some tomatoes and the quinoa into this dish here. As soon as this is uh, sauteed, and then we're going to eat this good stuff.
All right, I just added some turmeric and threw in the tomatoes. And we're almost ready for the quinoa to be added. All right, the quinoa has been added in there. All we gotta do is mix it up real good and it'll be ready for the stomach. Oh yeah, look at this deliciousness. If your food ain't this colorful, then you just ain't eating right. Time for acting class, Wednesday night. That's how I do my Wednesday nights, heading to acting class. Here we go.